I wanted to pull up the new re new released the first stop in Indiana, and I think I found some things very interesting in that video that I want to play through, and we can go through and discuss. And feel free, you guys can chat there. I know it's a couple of people watching, um, but let's pull up the video. And if you guys haven't seen the video of the first body cam video of the first stop in Indiana, you guys can go over and check it out on my channel. I'm going to drop the link down there. I appreciate if you do watch it. You can watch it on my channel. Upvote, like, comment. We love all that stuff. So, all right, let's do this. Let's play through this. And I want to take some, some notes on some very interesting things that happened during this stop. So first of all, we know that there's two stops. This was the first one. And then there was another one that wasn't too too far up the road. And in the second stop, they actually mentioned like, hey, we had already been pulled over. And this is where I want to find them. Hopefully this is in the affidavit. I think that these stops were to get an eye on him. Uh, and, and they're saying that at this time that there wasn't, you know, any in Indiana State Police or Indiana Police didn't know uh, that they were actually looking for this white uh, Elantra at the time. And I, I find that very hard to believe just because the nature of the stop, uh, the questions that were asked during the stop. And I know it seemed like very basic questions that that were being asked. But I, I find it interesting that we get when the trooper gets right up to the car, immediately he says, let me see your licenses. and you know, usually you get, you know, when I've had any type of traffic stop, when I've been pulled over for speeding tickets, like, you know, hey, uh, um, you know, where are you going? It wasn't even really any of those questions. Like, let's see your, your licenses. So uh, let's play through this really quick and we, we can, we can. Recording. Hello. How you doing? How y'all doing today? Good, good. Let's take a look at your driver's license real quick. You know, boom, right there. Let's take a look at your driving licenses really quick. And it's like you can kind of see Brian seems very nervous, kind of shaking back and forth, you know, kind of, uh, you know, kind of withdraw uh, body language good, see good. he's like hey see, he seems license. very stiff good, good. let me back this up a little bit hello how you doing how y'all doing today see he's kind of like uh uh good good does kind of a mock smile there just uh take a look at your driver's license he looks quick, nervous and he, he, even the body language he gets all tensed up he's tight father's kind of looking over at him really quick see he's right up on that van man he was right up on the back end of that van, pulled you over for tailgating. He's very nervous. Is this your car? Okay, cool. That there too is it's a little interesting. Like, hey, is this is this your car? Where are you headed? Well, and I apologize. It seems. You know, the, the audio is a little hard to hear. This is very interesting, too. So the trooper asked them, uh, where are you going? And it seemed like Brian was talking. And then when his father now says, well, actually, you know, we're coming from Washington State University. And look at Brian's face here. He's just kind of eyeballing his dad like, shut up. Coming from WSU. And... Uh now it's kind of that like nervous like yep what's WSU this is interesting too he starts talking about a uh, his dad starts talking about a uh, an incident that happened at the school I, I'm not going to talk about it because I I'm not going to say the words because I probably get shot down, but it was a, a, a bang bang incident that happened over at Washington State University. And it's very interesting that that that's kind of going on at the same time of, of all of this, too. So. So we're OK. I, I'm having a hard time hearing it because of the traffic. So you're coming from Washington State University and you're going where? 
And he's saying, and Brian says here, oh, we're just going to get some Thai food. And then I think his dad is going to open up now and say, no, well, we're heading back to Pennsylvania. And he's kind of giving him that, that eyeball look again, like, shut up. Oh, right there. It's see his dad. We're going to be going to Pennsylvania. So this, you know, and there was a lot of speculation about his father knowing, you know, if he is his father knew what was actually going on. And uh, there's been some conversation about that. Uh, because we know that Brian's dad flew out to, to Washington State University to meet up with Brian to drive back to Pennsylvania. Seemed kind of weird because of everything that had been going on. Now, I want to be curious is did, and, and his, I guess Brian's dad has been actually fully cooperating with the police at this time and, and has talked about this. And I'm sure if anything came up now, if, uh, if he knew anything about that, you probably would have heard something by now. But, um, his dad said this that particular this trip was actually planned uh, to go out, get Brian, drive back with him for Christmas, and then he would have drove back on his own to go back out to school. I think there was probably looked into, you know, when was that plane ticket uh, booked? Was it booked months in advance or was it booked right around the time of the crime? Um, I don't think his dad has anything to do with it. I know a lot of people speculation speculating. Uh, if he, he knew about it while they were driving back, did Brian say anything to him? Um, I, I'm not so sure because why would his dad just open up and be like, oh yeah, we're going to Pennsylvania. And every time that the trooper starts to try to get, uh, you know, some kind of evidence, Brian's kind of deterring it in, in, a you know, one direction, like, oh, Hey, we're going to get Thai food. But then his dad's like, actually, we're going back to Pennsylvania. So, um, oh, okay. We'll go. I'm gonna just gonna push back a little bit. Oh. Right there, he says, "I'm gonna go get some Thai food." Okay, we'll go back. So we're okay. I, I'm having a hard time hearing it because of the traffic. So you're coming from Washington State University, and you're going where? Right there, Thai food. Oh, oh okay. Yeah. We're a little. We're and it almost looks like Brian goes like a quick like like. Sh like shut up let's see if we can see that again let's let's take a look i wish i could zoom in okay right right there at about one like 111 let's let's go back watch it about 111 112 oh okay it's almost like a right there that that kind of like hours and days yeah. Brian seems okay. really so nervous. That, some SWAT team thing or yeah. Yeah, the the body language is forward, kind of like I want to get out of here type of thing. He's leaned forward. The the, the belt is you know the belt is tight. He's forward. It's kind of like rocking. Where? He's talking really fast too. Interesting. He keeps eyeballing his dad. I know that in the second video, there was some, someone had pointed out what looked like a large scratch on his arm or a cut. And they can't tell if that, because these body cams, when they, not really the best clearest footage but um you know they there was trying to see if that was kind of a cut or just something like a reflection from the video because skin tones can get kind of messed up sometimes in these videos um or what they're when they're pulling them off they're not as clear mm -hmm. so, so y'all work at the university there actually oh. okay God, it's so eerie. He's just telling, you know, oh, he's a PhD student, and ah, oh, it's so eerie. Okay. Yeah, I hadn't heard about that incident just yesterday. Or I was not sure the two shoes if they did shoot somebody. Let's see. And then we didn't know about that actually. Well, 
interesting. <laughs> it's very interesting that you would be talking about that coming from a specific place that had a uh, bang bang incident, and uh, you know here you are on the road <laughs> coming from that area. And now you're talking about it. It's a little, a little weird. Surprised the trooper didn't ask any more questions, but. Well, okay. But do me a favor, don't follow too close, okay? I'm telling you, I feel like the stop was just to totally check out what was going on with that car, who was in that car. They ID'd him. I still feel like this was part of the this was part of the investigation. And then they they get him again. And I'm gonna play that that second video next. All right, thank you. Appreciate you. I want to go back to the car here and just look. Let's see what the car looks like. It was kind of beat up. Well, just really dirty. Let's go back to the inside of the car and see if we can see anything. I know that someone said something about Brian maybe having black gloves in his lap. Can't quite see anything here. It's like there's some water bottles. Someone's charging a phone. Can't see anything here. Is the trooper's arms in the way? Let's go back here real quick. Yeah, I don't think we're going to get a clear picture. Oh, what's that? Yeah. Anyway, let's go to the second video. So this would be the second video when they're pulled over. Here we go. Let's play the the second stop. So they were stopped twice. One was the first stop, uh, first trooper, and this is the second one. Really dirty. I think it's got some damage right here on the door too. Now. I stopped you when you were driving by me there. You were looking back at Interesting. They got pulled over the same thing on this too. Now discussing, it's hard to hear, but he's saying we just got pulled over. We just got pulled over. You got you got stopped by a trooper. We, we don't have any SUVs. It was a county guy. Was it like a black SUV? Okay. All right. All right. You saw you guys following too closely. Okay. And he's talking to the, and his dad is talking to this uh, police officer or trooper about the same thing about the the bang bang that happened at WSU that day. Very strange. It's interesting. I'm not going to give you guys another ticket or warning if you just got stopped. Just make sure you give yourself plenty of room, okay? So, so like I said, it's all, it's all about how fast you're going, okay? That's so really dirty. You're going 10 miles an hour, you only need one car. Right? You're going, so the speed limit here is 7. You're going 7 miles an hour, you need 7 car miles. Yeah. That's, that, that, that's the easy way to explain this. Yeah. It's really easy to get in there. And the B&B man says 2 to 3 seconds. I want to I want to find where you can see Brian's arm in this video. There's some speculation that there could be a cut there. And I think someone is saying that they might have seen some black gloves in his lap as well, too. As we know, he was wearing gloves um, while there was there was some reports that he was wearing gloves. Uh, after the uh, after the November thirteenth uh, murders, to not have uh, obviously his fingerprints anywhere. So. Uh -huh. 
Oh, we're, we're out. We're out. Yeah, it's a long haul. You guys scared of airplanes? <laughs> Yeah, I don't think we're going to see anything here. Let me scrub. This is going to show basically the same scene outside. Let me go back to the very beginning of the video when he comes up on the car. Yeah, this video is not as clear. But I remember seeing an enhanced photo here of some red mark down here on his arm. And it's hard to see. And I wish I had a pointer where I can point where I'm pointing. But on the outside of his wrist, I've seen an enhanced photo of this actual um, still in this video. And that's where this has been. Some, oh, I guess you can see my pointer. <laughs> you can see my mouse. But right here. Um, there's been some speculation that there is a cut or a wound there. And then here, this looks like black gloves in his lap. And I don't know if those are surgical gloves. If they were, if they were, I think they're just regular winter gloves. Cause if it was a surgical glove, I mean, seeing, you know, this angle into the car, clearly the police officer or the trooper could see, you know, he might ask a question like, why do you have surgical gloves in your lap? But we don't hear anything like that. So I'm just guessing they're probably just regular black, uh, like winter leather gloves or something like that. And this time is Brian's body language seems to be a little bit more perturbed that they're they're getting stopped again. But that's the um the second the second video. 